Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game from Scratch, and it is a Tuesday. You regulars know what that means. There is a 50-50 chance you're going to get free stuff, and if I'm making a video, yeah, it probably means you're getting free stuff. It's the uh, Fab Marketplace giveaways. These are yours to keep forever, so long as you, air quotes, purchase them before the uh, two Tuesdays from now, basically. You've got two weeks to pick these up. Uh, we've got a couple of assets. I'm going to show you the store page first, and then we'll go hands-on. We're doing things a little bit out of order here, uh, just because... Well, I'll explain in a bit. There's a little bit of presentation issues with this video. Uh, but what you're going to notice here is these are actually quite valuable assets this time. So one of the ones we've got here is the Western Desert Town with Construction Tool. And this is that $300. Now, that Construction Tool, I think it's going to come back and bite us in the butt, as we will see in just a minute. But a $300 asset here. And then we have Gaia from Kitbash 3D. And this one is up to $800. So we're at $1,100 at this point in time. And then we have one more asset here, which is the sci-fi modular hover vehicles, a collection of like futuristic hover crafts. Oh, you're going to notice here, this one has it's 40 bucks in this particular case. So you're looking again, over $1,100 worth of assets here. On this take, in this particular case, all these assets are for Unreal Engine. Although what you will find is it's actually quite easy to get assets out and into other engines. So for example, this is the church from the Western pack exported out into a default Godot scene uh, using a literal one-click process. I've got uh, documentation down below, all the various different options for exporting from one game engine to another. So even if you're using another game engine, do not let that put you off because quite frankly, uh, you can get these things out into other engines and the license allows you to do so. All right, so the first one we're gonna look at is this hovercraft one, and we'll look at it in the demo here. So first off, this thing is gonna go around, we'll do the autoplay demo, and it kind of just shows you, uh, you know, the various different hovercraft styles we've got here. So we've got, uh, 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 I'm gonna turn that fog off. It looks really bad. All right, fog, and then the pulse processing can be toggled. I think that one probably looks the best as well. So you get an idea of the various different vehicles that are being implemented in this map. You'll also notice at the top right there, there is a pilotable demo as well. It's actually, so it's got all the blueprints set up to make it so you can control one of these hovercrafts, drop it into your game accordingly. Uh, so it is a very comprehensive pack of futuristic uh, hovercraft. We can snap between the various different options. So you see like a, it actually looks like futuristic port -a pod carrier. Uh, and then over here, again, another collection of porta potties being brought to the uh, deserts of Arrakis. Uh, we have uh, a gunship, another tank set up, another tank, uh, tank, tank. And we have some missile launcher ones here as well. So you're getting a decent collection of assets in this one. So that is the sci-fi modular hovercraft asset. Uh, now we're going to move on to the Gaia assets. Uh, and I'm actually going to showcase them here because, again... This week is interesting for demonstrations uh, because I think this is a first time ever when I loaded Gaia in, there's no map. There's no demo map at all. Literally nothing. It's, it's very strange. I've never seen an asset, especially one part of the Humble collection, uh, that like the giveaways that didn't have a demonstration map. But this one doesn't have that. I don't know what's going on there, but you see all the various different assets that are available. So what we will do is pollute this demo with some of these actors. So we're gonna come here, get an idea. So if you need to have uh, a bay, again, barrel, super simple. But these are more about these big um, organic structures like this one right here. This is obviously a grouped asset. We'll give it a second while that loads in. So preparing static meshes, preparing, preparing, 99%. They've got the, they went to the uh, Microsoft School of uh, Progress Bar Design, as you can see right here. So I'll pause while this finish loading. Alrighty, so we are loaded in. So maybe that's why they didn't do a demo map because everything is just big. It took a long time, by the way. So you can see this, I don't know what you would call this. It's sort of like semi-organic structures going on here. It's like everything is almost made out of woven baskets. Uh, so I do not particularly know what style you would call this, but uh, it is a number of structures in this vein. And again, a number of other assets that you can use to kit bash out your scene. I won't drop another one of these large ones in because quite frankly, they're uh, big. But if we need to have a chair, we could drop a chair into our spot over here. So uh, a decent collection of assets, all obviously with the same art style. Uh, that is kit bash stuff. They normally do quite high quality stuff and it's this kind of content uh, that you're getting. Again, very strange that there is no demo map for that one. And then we get into the even stranger category, which is this Western desert pack. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and I will open up the overview map, which I never do. Uh, and we're gonna start with the overview map so you get an idea of the assets that are included in this particular pack. So here you can see, uh, you got some mountain ranges and so on. And then you got a variety of different, uh, um, I'm backwards. All right, let's go back over here. Bits and bobs used to create a Western style town. So everything you see over here for like chains and fence posts and all this other um, stuff. And then over here, we've got, you know, walls to go together to create the various different buildings like so. Uh, again, I took this particular asset right there and just straight out exported it. Again, guides will be available down below. But as you can see, can easily be brought into other game engines. It's going to look different because of the lighting being different, obviously. So, you know, that's an aspect of this for sure. Uh, but you, you can get these out. Static mesh is super easy to get out into other uh, game engines. There's a very cool plugin for doing this stuff as well. So even if you are not using Unreal Engine, you should be buying all these things. Just keep hoarding them, adding them to your collection, and so on. So this is the overview map. Uh, and now uh, let's get on to the uh, strange part of the story. And I don't know how long this is going to take, but let's switch over to the demo map, which kind of showcases this in a real world environment. Uh, for perspective, I am using Unreal Engine 5.5.3. Uh, and let's uh, just go take a quick look around this environment. Uh, there is our church in action. So you can see there's, there's a kit to it too. So you got the construction kit part of it is you've got things like these uh, railroad tracks being created via splines and so on. So it gives you some tools for creating these kind of environments as well. And then again, everything you see to create this town and boom, it has done that 100% of the time. So this particular asset, I don't know why that actual map just it causes Unreal Engine to bomb. Uh, and again, I think it is 5.5.3 related. Uh, maybe it's just my computers. I, I tried this on two different machines. They both do that. I do have 16 gigs of video RAM and a 4090, so I should not be running out of memory. But yeah, that happens every single time. So anyways, quick overview of what you are getting. Again, head on over to the Fab Store, add these to cart, check out. Uh, it will actually show as free tomorrow. You have a choice between which version you want to grab. Uh, these are basically, it's, you can get a cheaper version if you make certain amounts of money it's just a two-tiered way of buying things but since they're giving it away for free eh, might as well get the expensive version and here you can see again eight hundred dollars is the price tag for this that, that's kind of insane and it doesn't come with a demo map which is incredibly insane but it gives you an idea of the kind of things that you're dealing with here uh again organic wood like structures uh, they do have some overviews. There's 93 actors, uh, 1,277 meshes, 7.8 million polygons, uh, 28 materials, 173 textures, and it is in a 4K resolution. Uh, then we've got the sci-fi modular hover vehicles, uh, pretty straightforward asset, a number of modular sci-fi hovercraft and transports and high-tech porta-potties. Uh, again, there is a blueprint drivable version of that, which is kind of nice. And then we have the Western Desert Town with Construction Tool. And tell me if you check these out yourself uh, and let me know if you get a crash if you open up this demo map because I don't know what's going on here. But again, 300 bucks. So $300 and then $800 or $1,100 and then $1,140. So $1,140 worth of free assets this month. And some of the most problematic assets in terms of demoing that I've ever seen, including a crash and a one that does not have a demo map, which again, so maybe money doesn't mean everything, but let me know what you think of this month's free stuff. Uh, and again, if you are using another engine, you want to get these exported out to like Blender or something to that effect, there are guides available down below, which will show you how to do so. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.